The bread rises, France, Paris, an entire generation. I address myself to the poets who were there. Friends, Apollinaire is not dead. You followed an empty hearse. Apollinaire is a magus. It was him, smiling in the silk of flags at the windows, having fun, tossing flowers and wreaths at you as you went by behind his hearse. Then he went and bought himself a little tricolor cockade. I saw him appear on the boulevards that same evening, riding the hood of an American truck and waving an enormous international flag spread out like an airplane. Vive la France! Times change. Years glide by like clouds. The soldiers have come home, their home in their country, and before you know it, there's a new generation. The dream of the breasts of Tiresias come true. Little Frenchmen, half English, half African, half Russian, with a touch of Belgian, Italian, Annamite, Czech. One speaks like a Canadian, another has Hindu eyes, teeth, face, bones, joints, figure, gait, smile. All a little alien, yet right at home. Among them Apollinaire, like the statue of the Nile, father of the waters stretched out, with children flowing out of him everywhere. From between his feet, from under his armpits, from his beard, they resemble their father and are different too, and all of them speak the language of Apollinaire.